Welcome to the dark side. In Return of the Jedi, Luke refused to fight his father until Vader threatened to turn Leia to the dark side. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Luke then attacked Vader in a furious rage, which ended when Luke severed Vader's right hand. Some have viewed this fight as Vader allowing Luke to defeat him so that his hate and anger would draw him into the dark side of the Force. However, as the movie shows, Luke soundly defeated Vader. Some may ask how Luke could have done this when he wasn't even a full Jedi yet. The answer is, Luke overtaxed Vader's breathing system. Listen closely as Vader lay defeated at Luke's feet. Vader's breathing system had changed from a slow, steady cadence to a raspy, weak one. Luke's attack was so furious that Vader couldn't keep up with him, and the demands on his breathing system were too much for his suit to compensate for. Vader's breathing seemed to recover as he stood beside the Emperor as Luke was being electrocuted. However, we hear the overtaxed breathing system failing once again after Vader tosses Palpatine down to the Death Star's reactor core. This time, the breathing system doesn't recover, possibly because of the Emperor's lightning attacks to Vader's suit. Vader was able to breathe on his own for a short time after Luke removed his helmet. We hear one last full breath from the suit as Luke removed the mask. <laughs> 